Hello, beautiful collective, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, collective, let's see what's going on this weekend for the weekend energy, okay? I hope you guys have some great plans. Um, if you're a mother out here, I hope that... Um, that you're making some good plans for Mother's Day, okay? I feel like you're going to be celebrated. I keep seeing the celebration card. Um, somebody is watching you work. Uh, you may have some kind of public platform um, if people are watching you work. I, I feel like somebody has some really bad intentions for you or somebody's angry and jealous. Um, maybe at one point this person used to laugh at you. That's what I'm getting. Like they would laugh, they would laugh at um, how hard you were working. You know, they are, they're not laughing anymore. This is the card I keep seeing. You're out here winning and there's a masculine that's really upset. They could be very upset too that you're going to be um, celebrating or being celebrated this weekend. So this could have something to do with Mother's Day. Um, maybe you're going to be, you know, not showing up on your platform on Mother's Day because I really feel like this person is expecting to see you or uh, because they watch you constantly. They're watching you work and I feel like you're reaching people worldwide. I feel like you have some kind of internet platform, okay? And they're going to be really mad this weekend because... I think you're not going to be, uh, you may not be posting anything on your platform or they're watching you have a huge win, okay? Or they're angry because like the work that you've done, whatever you have accomplished here, you had to work really hard for, okay? You did, but there's something about what you're doing that you make it look easy, <laughs> okay? You make it look easy and this um, this person is angry about that um i feel like they don't want to work okay they may want out of a situation as well there's going to be a lot of talking about you this weekend i feel like this person may even have some kind of cookout or something and everybody there i feel is going to be getting together to talk about you this is like a roast right um, people want to make fun of you, but they can't. Maybe this is something that this person usually does, is gets together with their friends to um, trash talk you, laugh at you, but they can't anymore. You're out here having a, having a major win. You're accomplishing a lot. Okay, collective? You're in this emperor, empress energy. Okay, yeah, and whatever it is that you're doing, you make it look easy. Okay, you make it look easy. This person may have a very difficult job, like they're comparing the work that they do and how they make their money to how you're working and making your money. Okay, but the, none of these, I feel like it's a group of people, none of them realize just how much effort you had to put into this. Okay, it could be a platform, it could be your own business that's growing. Okay, it's um, your your whatever your talent or ability is it's reaching people worldwide okay and that's telling me that it's something that you may be doing on the internet okay they're watching you work and they don't like it and you're standing strong like maybe this person at one point they laughed at what you were doing okay they did you know they thought you were a joke all of these people did they all criticized you they all slandered your reputation. They, they were laughing at you. But then they started seeing you accomplishing great things. They started seeing you being celebrated by other people around the world. Okay? And now they're seeing you as like an executive, um, an emperor. This is emperor, empress energy. S standing strong, possibly with a very strong business. You keep getting better and better every day, but now it's like it make you make it look easy. You could have gotten a lot of success in a very short amount of time. And now this person may feel embarrassed by the things that they said about you in the past because they really did try to turn you into a joke. And now the joke's on them. Okay, now the joke's on them. And I feel like you didn't do anything to retaliate, nothing. You just kept persevering. 
like you kept your you kept your head down right on your work and you kept pushing through it okay no matter what these people were saying no i feel like you knew people were laughing at you you knew that they thought what you were doing was a joke and you did not you did nothing to counteract that you really did nothing to retaliate you see what i'm saying and now you're just like breezing through the success and it just feels like um it's something that's happened for you really quickly yeah look at how skilled you are you're getting better and better at what you do <laughs> you could be branching out right you could have started two different platforms you could be doing two separate things you know maybe um maybe it, this could be something like it started as a blog or it started as just you know you were out there entertaining people with 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 videos or with whatever you were posting on your website okay um and now um like i said you branched off of that and now it's like you're getting even more serious about your work and it's taking you farther and this person is now embarrassed okay I feel like there's uh, feminine energies, too, around this person. Could be exes, family, friends. Could be someone they chose over you. These people now are jealous and upset because they can't, if they were to say anything negative about what you're doing and try to laugh at you now, I mean, they're laughing at you accomplishing great things. You're doing better in life than they are. You know, some of these people are trying to copy what you do. Some of them are sending you spell work. I feel like you're protected from the spell work. You know, because some of them want to steal your destiny from you. Okay, there's a, some kind of witchy poo that's been trying to copy what you're doing and they can't. Okay, see, here's you doing what you do. You're very skilled. Okay, you're very masterful at it. It's a passion. It's something that you're being divinely led to do with God out here. Okay, they tried to copy you and this is what they look like. They're looking like fools. Okay, whoever this is trying to copy what you do, they don't, they, they can't do it the same way you do. Okay, and you just keep growing and growing and growing. Spirit is um, putting you on like um, a golden path, like your life is going to be filled with like wish fulfillment, okay? Um, you could be a Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a Taurus, Aries, Gemini, Virgo. Yep, there's spell work. Whoever this dark feminine energy is, she's witchy poo. She's done a lot of spells on you to try to ruin your progress or steal your destiny. Okay, and none of it's working. As a matter of fact, all that spell work is being deflected right back to her. And now it's starting to drive her crazy. Okay, so she could have been like if she sent you confusion spells right to throw you off your game and off your off your, out, out out of progress right now she's really confused if she was sending you um spells to make you tired now she's getting tired um it's but meanwhile these people can't stop watching you but i feel like with god out here these all of your haters whoever this is they're in spiritual jail okay they're in spiritual jail. They can't stop. They can't slow you down or stop your progress. I'm picking up on um, chariot energy. So you could totally be a cancer. But it, nothing can stop the chariot but the divine. And spirit has um, spirits put you on the path that they want you on doing what they want you to do something you were born to do. Okay. Your destiny is not for this karmic. She's trying to copy you and can't. It's too hard. Because I feel like um, she wants your same kind of success. You know, she wants, um, she wants your abundance, your money, your life. Okay, for real. This karmic wants your life. Yeah, look at all the spells she's done. 
it's only made her tired. Um, really, it's t it's draining this karmic. Okay. So this this is definitely somebody who's around your person. This is this karmic feminine. She's been one of the people that um, have tried to turn you into a big joke. Okay, stuck. That all of these people are stuck and angry, and going crazy. This is my going crazy card here. This karmic could be drinking heavily knowing that nothing's working she's actually ending up looking like the fool like i said uh, they tried to turn you into a joke but the joke is actually on them okay yeah spirit is like this is this is your spirit guide okay <laughs> say hello to your spirit guide right see that bat in her hand any kind of bad energy that these people have sent to you it's all getting knocked straight back to them now and this was a whole group that used to get together and laugh at you and put you down and trash your reputation. Okay? All of that is going back on them. Their reputation's getting, getting ruined. Um, they're being turned into a joke. Okay? People are now laughing at them. You know, they wanted you stuck. Now they're stuck. They wanted you confused. Now they're confused. Okay. Yep, you've got God. This is God and your spirit guides protecting you. Protecting you. Yeah, God's putting these people in a pet taxi. Okay. And turning them into a joke. Um, and I feel like there's a masculine who um, is really angry. Because you're doing better and they can't seem to stop you. They're, they're jealous. They're upset because now they feel like a joke. Okay? And they're stuck with this angry karmic. While this karmic gets, gets back, all of, the, all of the spell work that they gave you, this masculine is going to have to suffer that karma right along with this karmic. Because they, they made the conscious decision to stay with this karmic, stay with these people, and continue to bash on you. So now spirit is keeping these people stuck where they are. And, and all of the bad juju, all of that spell work is being sent back to them. And they have to sit there in it. They have to sit in it. Okay? Some of these people wanted to unalive you. This karmic may, may still be trying to do that. I'm really hoping she's not casting any spell work for that because it's going to come right back on her. I'm telling you, and that's a confirmation, okay? My phone just dinged. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going um, to return to these people. You may actually find out that someone passes away. Um... But it's because that this karmic has done too much and she won't stop. She's completely obsessed with bringing you down, turning you into a joke, or, or um, stealing the life that you have. Okay? She wants, to, she wants your spot. <laughs> you know, and she can't have it. And if she sends you any spell work to unalive you, you know, this is the death card here. Um, spirit is going to be, all of that is going back to her immediately. Okay, so unfortunately, it's very unfortunate that um, someone is doing all of this because I'm telling you, she's going to end up suffering the consequences from her own spell work. Okay. And your person's going to be trapped in that karma as well. But she's so angry and hateful of you. Um, and she, you're making her look like a fool, right? But now these people look like jokes. Somebody here is already getting like really bad migraine headaches, something like that. Um, I, someone's already starting to suffer some health issues. This is that, um, this is that hit from their, from her own spell work. Okay. Anything they wanted for you is actually going to happen to them. 
And I feel like they were warned. This karmic was warned, but she's thinking she can go against God. You know, she wants to bring you down no matter what. Okay? Because the joke is on them. Now they look like a joke. If you're out here happy, and they look like a joke, a clown. Okay? Someone, um, one of these karmics, one of these people could end up in a really bad car accident. Okay? Especially whoever has been casting really bad spells on you. Yeah. So this karmic is going to get exactly what she sent to you. Um, yeah, that's very unfortunate for her. I don't know what else to say. And this masculine, I feel like they're eventually going to want to come and apologize and court you and date you and confess how they feel about you. So if she was trying to hang on to this masculine, um, hang on to him for dear life, right? Uh, wanting to win at all costs, she's going to be losing the masculine as well. All right. This masculine is, is going to want you more than ever before. I feel like they already do, but they are feeling um, pretty crappy because they did joke about you at one point. And now, like I said, the joke is on them. Yeah, this person may actually end up losing all their finances, losing a place to live. They may actually come towards you in need of help. But I, I feel like it's not your place to help them. Spirit wants these people to get their karma. Yep, I just saw the embarrassment card. So this, this karmic, um, the one that's sending you the bad energy and the spells, um, she feels like an absolute clown. Very embarrassed in the public eye, okay, or around, you know, this group. And this masculine they're going to start feeling really sad because they're going to want you instead. And there's the crazy card. Okay, so yeah, the karmic is going crazy. The masculine's going to be going crazy. Ooh, I just saw the spell work. Um, so yeah, all of their spiritual attacks, it's, and this last one is a doozy. This last one, this karmic's been warned. Right? The karmic has been warned. No more spell work is to be sent to the divine feminine. I feel like you're a divine feminine. Okay? Touch not my anointed ones. You're a divine being, and no more spell work was to be sent to you. They, these people have been warned. She's going to do one more spell trying to take you out. Okay? Um, yeah. And I'm telling you, it's going to come right back on her. She's bumping up her spell work, and it's going to affect her. Okay? But she didn't listen. She didn't listen. You are protected. Just know that. Um, let's get some advice. And now all of these people feel like fools. They're embarrassed. The joke's on them. You are protected. Nothing's going to get to this little owl with this leopard here standing guard. Okay? So you're being guarded over by the divine. I feel like you intuitively know that. Just keep persevering. Just keep, just keep going. Right? I'm hearing just keep swimming. Just keep swimming like Dory. Okay? Um, yeah, you're this. You're anointed. You're a child of the divine, and spirit is like, touch not my anointed ones. You are so protected right now. Whew. Yeah, the spell work isn't for you. I feel like you know this karmic just she can't keep her nose out of your business. She's constantly watching you, constantly obsessed with you, and Spirit gave her the warning, back off. The, the collective's life is not your life to be in. 
You know, the collective's life is the collective's life. That This is what you do. This karmic wants what you have, and they can't have it. It's not for them. But but their their spell work is going to be sent back. Okay, because uh, spirit is balancing the scales right now. Yeah, big changes are going to happen in this karmic's life. Yep, you're going to be happy and gifted. I feel like spirit has given you gifts and skills and abilities that are making you happy. You know, you're, this is a calling. It just is giving me like a calling kind of energy or your mission, your path, your purpose. So you're on your purpose and your path right now. And spirit's not going to let anything stop it. Okay? Especially these people. And I'm telling you, this karmic is getting really drained. Okay? Really drained from all of the spell work. The masculine is losing passion for the karmic, and I feel like they want you. Okay? Time's up on these people and their spiritual attacks because you get to have a new life now. Okay? So, yeah, spirit is, um, spirit is with you all the time. You may even sense your spirit guides around you. You may feel very protected right now. Um, it's because you are. <laughs> uh, you're so guarded over by the divine. Okay? Because you're walking a divine path. Because you're, Spirit's guiding you. Spirit's leading you. And when, when the divine is guiding you and you're on the right path, nothing can stop you. Like, for real. Nothing can stop you. Okay? Ooh, collective. Um, anyway, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, join this awesome soul tribe, but also take part in the giveaway. I'm going to give you all the details coming up right now, okay? And um, until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out. Okay, everyone, so um, these are all of the awesome prizes that I have for this thank you giveaway, okay? Um, we've got the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck, a really popular deck for the giveaways. You guys, it's fun. Um, and we've got the Lightseer's tarot deck. This, this is a very popular deck in, in tarot land out here on YouTube. Um, really great for intuitive readers as well. And we've got, of course, another chance to win the cat tarot, you guys. I include this in on pretty much all the re all of the um, giveaways, okay? And then we've got um, we've got a singing bowl that's um, just like mine. I think it's a little bit smaller than mine, but it comes with its own little satin pillow and a wand. All right, we've got the singing bowl. We've got the um, pendulum set, which I think is really nice. Honestly, um, these are really nice pendulums, you guys. One is um, uh, quartz crystal. It's got a really nice weight to it, and it's pretty big for a pendulum. And this one is copper. And this one opens up. You can open it up. You can put little things in it, like maybe um, some... Um, holy water you could put little pictures in it maybe you could put um little crystal chips in it okay so this is a really awesome pendulum very it's weighted so nice and it comes with this um really cool like board okay like an answer board all right so we've got the pendulum set and then we've got this home cleansing set okay it's also called a smudge kit it comes with a feather uh, a sage stick, a chakra bracelet. Um, it comes with its own little wooden stand for this beautiful abalone shell. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Um, so that is the smudge kit or home cleansing kit, however you want to put it. All right. And as a bonus prize, you guys, and I had to, I couldn't pass this up. I just couldn't. It's way too cute and adorable. 
This is the bonus lucky elephant, okay? Um, it's hand carved out of amethyst and it, it needs a good home. So who wants the bonus lucky elephant? Please, please. Um, I, I hope he goes to a, a good home. Anyway, um, to enter to win any of this awesome, uh, any of these awesome items, all you have to do is like and subscribe to the channel and type in the name of the item that you want to win in the comment section below. That's all you got to do. And then we're, I'm going to announce the lucky winners on May 11th, you guys. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, good luck. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, right? Join this awesome soul tribe. Um, enter to win one of these great prizes. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.